With the body now painted and ready for the rest of the parts to come join it, I needed to cut them all out, clean them up a bit, and move on to some painting and assembly, of course. The customer I'm building this car for requested some red piping on the seats, so of course I obliged. I apply a little bit of glue on the edges where I'm going to apply the piping, which is just some ignition wire from Scale Production. It's a super thin red wire, and that is just glued in place around the parameter of the seat and going all around carefully gluing it piece by piece. The parts are all cleaned up, the piping has been added around the two front seats so I could move on to priming every part and pretty much painting everything that you will see in this video black. With all of the parts now painted in a matte black, some of the parts needed to have two tones of black, so I masked off a couple of the areas and added some satin clear coat here and there on various different parts, just to make it not look exactly the same all over the place. And the same goes for a couple of the main chassis pieces, which I painted with a gloss clear coat, just to give it a bit more of a glossy finish and not look exactly the same as the rest of the parts. So as mentioned, all of the parts, including the seats, are painted black. The piping on the seats is also painted black, so that now needs to be stripped back, of course. Now the reason I did it before painting is because afterwards I would have spilled a lot of glue all over the place. So I just added a little bit of thinners on the edges with a cotton swab, and that is to make the paint a bit softer, and then take out a wooden stick just to carefully scrape it off around the edges and reveal the red piping. I also needed to add a bit of carpeting on some of the door panels and also the main chassis piece itself for the floor pan of course. So I added some uh, glue, in this case just some clear paint, and then straight on when it's still super wet I apply the flocking with a tea sifter. Products will be linked down in the description below if you're interested. Now again, all of the interior parts are black and have the same tone, so I needed to differentiate it a little bit here and there, so I added some smaller details with a brush and some flat black paints, just to give it a little bit of a different look and not all blend into one big piece. 
Some additional details with some silver, red, green and other colors will be added as well just to liven it up a bit and also of course to make it look like the actual interior. The two smaller buttons I'm painting here for the heater controls look really nasty, so that was cleaned up later on with a brush and some flat black paints, but I forgot, just forgot to film it, so as you can see here, it's a lot cleaner already, and I just kept adding a couple more details here and there, and then moved on to adding in some seat belts from Scale Production, along with some seat belt buckles from Scale Production as well, and could then start adding some decals and doing the final assembly of the interior. With the radio, the gauges and other decals now placed, I could move on to just assembling it. In the video where I unboxed this kit, I mentioned that you can cut out the front section of the body to reveal some details on the inside as well. Now I'm not going to do that as that will distort the entire integrity of the body and not make it look any better, but yet I still wanted to add the details in as it's quite a fun little bit to do and also adds a bit more to the video itself. So all these parts were painted, assembled and glued together. <laughs> 